All right, uh, working together problems that are quadratic. Okay, these, this one gets kind of hairy if you're not used to working with them. Uh, pump A can fill a pool in two hours less time than pump B. Together, the pumps can fill the pool in two hours and 24 minutes. Find how long it will take pump A to fill the pool. So again, it's a good idea to try to mess around with these problems. And, it, and working together problems are always about rate or velocity. Um, getting something done in a certain amount of time. Um, miles per hour, you know, uh, feet per second. Those are all kind of rate problems. This is no different. So first thing I'm going to do is define uh, um, pump A's time as T. So that means pump B's time is T plus 2. And so uh, we're ready to get rolling with this. Remember, it's a, we're dealing with one job, filling a pool. So for pump A, the speed of pump A, or the velocity of pump A, is one job for every T hours. And for pump B, its speed is one job in every T plus two hours. Alright, so, and we know that we have, um, it takes two hours and 24 minutes for them to working together. Well, 24 sixtieths is 0.4 hours, so we got to convert the minutes to hours. And so we also know that your total speed together is 1 job in 2.4 hours. So we've got an equation. We've got 1 over t for pump A plus the speed of pump B has to match the speed of them working together. Has to be That's their total speed, their total velocity. So we've got this really cool rational equation. So we're going to get common denominators. So this needs a 2.4 and a t plus 2, I didn't give myself room, but there it is. So you need that on both sides, t plus 2.4 and t plus 2. Uh, this needs a 2.4 and a t. Not that that needs parentheses, so 2.4 and a t. Uh, 1 over 1. And this side needs the t and the t plus uh, 2. And so over t and t plus 2. So at this point in your math education, I hope you realize that once you have common denominators, you cross, you can cross them out when it's an equation because you could just multiply by whatever the denominator is and it's gone. And so we would have left over, I'll write it a little nicer, 2.4 times t plus 2 plus 2.4 times t. And then we have equals t squared plus 2t. Well, I cheated and distributed already. So up here you distribute through, and that's how you get t squared plus 2t. Down here, do the same thing, distribute through. So you'd have 2.4t plus uh, 4.8 plus 2.4t equals t squared plus 2t. Now, at this point, I'm going to get everything moved to the right side of the equation. Well, 2.4t and 2.4t is 4.8t. I'm bringing everything else down. Well, I lied. We'll do it one step at a time. Then I'm going to subtract the 4.8t over. So when you do that, you've got zero or 4.8, not 0. So 4.8 equals t squared minus uh, 2.8, uh, 2 excuse me, can't subtract, t is getting late. 
Then move your 4.8 over. So we're going to subtract 4.8 over to the side. You can't combine it with anything else. And so 0 equals t squared minus 2.8t minus 4.8. So now you can go ahead and uh, solve this. Now you can use quadratic formula, um, all this other jazz. I'm just going to factor it. I, I, most of these problems that you do in any textbook or um, in any uh, math placement exam, they're all, most of them are going to factor. And so in this case, I, I want to get rid of the decimal. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 10. And I'm going to also use the uh, symmetric property and put the 0 on the right side where it belongs. So you'd have 10 t squared minus 28t minus 48. And then also, they're all divisible by 2. So we can simplify it even further. So we've gotten rid of decimals. Now we'll get rid of that even number. So we've got 5t squared minus 14t minus 24 equals 0. So now you can factor this. Minus plus factors to a minus plus or a plus minus, depending. 5t squared is 5t times 1t. And you've got some choices with 24 over here. You've got uh, 2 and uh, 12. You've got... Uh, 6 and 4, you've got 8 and 3, you've got 24 and 1. I'm going to shoot in the dark here and either go with 8 and 3 or 6 and 4. And let's just go with 6 and 4. Um, and we've got this 5 over here, so I'm going to put the 6 here and the 4 here. And check it. And when you check it, you have negative 6t and positive 20t which is positive 14t. So we have our signs wrong. So we know this has to be positive and this one has to be negative. And we're equal to zero. And so now when you do it, that's positive, that's negative, we get negative 14t. We know we did it right. So you set both of those to zero. 5t plus 6 equals zero and t minus 4 equals zero. And t in this case, subtract the 6, minus 6, minus 6. So 5t equal, I better show my work, then divide by 5. And so t is equal to negative 6 fifths. Now, this is the time for pump A. So what you're basically saying is that 1.2 hours back in time, uh, the pump could fill it. Well, that doesn't even make sense. So that one's out. And then this one, you'd add 4, so T is 4 hours. And so pump A can fill a pool. in 4 hours. And I challenge you to, to so that means pump B can do it in uh, 6 hours. So I challenge you to check to see if that's correct. If you think about working together problems, and maybe I'll just get you started here, that means we'd have one pool in four hours plus one pool in six hours is uh, equal to, you know, common denominator. Um, uh, Twelve would work here, so we'd need three and two. And so we'd have five twelfths. So we can fill together, working together, they can fill five pools in 12 hours. We don't want five pools in 12 hours. We want one, how many hours in one, for one pool? So you flip that over, so that's 12 hours for five pools. And that reduces to 2.4 hours per pool. And we know we've got it right. So we've checked it. We're ready to go on. And the reason I had to check it is uh, the answers aren't in the back of the book. So um, I had to guarantee this was going to be correct when I got done. And that's really the way you can do it, is go back through and make sure it works. should never get mathematics problems wrong because there's always a way to check to see if you did it right. So good luck. Hope this helps. And see you next time.